Hey friends, I am out here in the beautiful mountains. I know this is a crazy time we're in right now. Um, so I just wanted to bring you some yoga to ground, <laughs> to relax, and bring you someplace maybe you couldn't go to by yourself. So um, <laughs> excuse my puffy layers and any natural sounds like oh, walking by from a distance, a car driving by, the sounds of being outside. Anyway, um, if you don't have a mat, grab something comfortable, like a towel or a big blanket. And we are gonna be staying mostly on the ground or to do some standing postures. Um, come into some cozy clothes you can move in and we'll be practicing for about 20 minutes. So I'm excited to flow with you guys. Okay, let's come to a comfortable seated with the vets kneeling, or you can join me crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Simple seated. And let's just become aware of our breath. If it feels comfortable to you, you can gently bring your gaze softly in front of you, or you can bring your eyes closed. Just notice your breath. Maybe it's a bit like mine, just slightly out and feeling overwhelmed. Maybe your breath is up in your shoulders. Um, but let's just work to bring our breath down, down into our ribs and down into our belly. Just noticing where you're at, where you're landing, how you're feeling. Just checking in here. And if you can, drawing your breath deeper into your belly and placing one hand on your belly and just feeling it expand as you inhale and exhale, release it up. And if you can, Try to start lengthening your breath, making your inhales a little bit longer and your exhales just even longer. If it helps, you can part your lips and just let some air out of your mouth. Beautiful. Let's start to add some movement. So bringing your eyes back open. Let's um, do some seated cat cow, cat cow. So placing your hands on your knees, inhale, shine your heart forward. I'm gonna move sideways so you can see my movement a little bit better. Shine your heart forward, inhale, and exhale, holding onto your knees, exhaling back, releasing, curving through the spine. Inhale, coming forward. And exhale, releasing back. Inhale, coming forward, shining that heart. And exhale, releasing back. Beautiful. Let's keep this movement. You can add a little bit of a like churning, butter churning <laughs> to like a movement to this if you like going one way and then the other. Or you can just keep it front and back, whatever feels good in your body today. The point is we're just gonna be noticing our body and listening to what it needs. And I love to include some mantras as I'm moving and breathing just to help my mind not wander so much. So I loved this mantra and I shared it with some people before and I wanna share it with you guys. So on your inhale, your next inhale, let's sync our movements together. Inhale, shine your heart forward, facing fear. Exhale, coming back. I will choose love. Inhale, facing fear. Exhale, I will choose love. Inhale, facing fear. Exhale, I will choose love. Continue, maybe rotate your circle the other way if you went one way. 
Continue with the mantra facing fear. Inhale. Exhale. I will choose love. Good. Inhale. Come back through center. And let's come down through all fours. So if you've never done all fours before or you've just never done yoga before, we're going to push into our fingertips and not the palm of our wrist. So if you're fair skinned like me, you'll put, you'll see, you'll look down and like there'll be whites gleaming as you're pressing down into your fingers and you'll want the inside of your elbows shining forward. So stacking your shoulders, right? Your wrists and your shoulders and knees under your hips coming into a grounding tabletop. Your toes can be kind of tucked under if they don't go all the way down. And we're pulling up through the belly button here, engaging. Good, and just finding this position coming to stillness. I know a lot of us yogis who practice often like to rush through tabletop and we're like, okay, let's get to those cat cows. Um, but in the mix of fighting some fear and fighting some anxiety, we're gonna intentionally slow down today. So just coming to rest here, continuing your breath as you're drawing your ribs together and your belly button up and in, not clenching, but just gentle, draw in. And then just notice your neck lastly, is it clenching down and then up high and just try and bring it to a neutral position. We're finding a beautiful line from our head all the way to our tail. Beautiful. Mm. I hope this audio picks up on these tree scents. Mm, maybe the airplane do. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Let's just bring a little bit of soft rock in the hips here. Good. And let's thread the needle. So let's lift our right hand time up high. And exhale, drawing your hand right underneath your shoulder. We're gonna come rest on the right shoulder. Extend your left arm right out in front of you. And your sit bones are coming up towards the sky. If you have low back trouble, engage that lower abdomen to protect your low back. I'm gonna try and relax into your shoulders. Opening up here. I know this is such a deep twist. And as with anything in yoga, if it hurts, don't do it. Come back to your breath here, inhaling in and exhaling out. Just feeling that ground supporting you. If you'd like, you can extend your left hand to the right edge of your mat to come in a little more of a twist if that feels good in your body. And or you can place your left hand on the small of your low back, twisting your left shoulder open, just twisting more in the back muscles here and opening up your shoulder, your pecs a little bit. But just go into whatever posture feels good in your body, not trying to force or be anything. The beauty of at-home yoga is you get to be you. <laughs> You're not trying to match anyone in your class or show off, but uh, you get to show up with what your body needs, and that's a beautiful thing right now. Good. Take one more cleansing breath. Inhale. And slow, deliberate exhale. Good. Place your left hand right under your left shoulder, pushing up into that left hand as you reach your right arm back, extend to the sky. for ceiling. And right hand back down, right underneath your right shoulder. Left arm reaches up towards the sky. I'm going to thread the needle on the other side. Popping your left shoulder down right where your hand was. Good. And extend your right arm out in front of you. And just love this beautiful message we get to embrace when we're doing yoga. And this beautiful message is that we are held. This beautiful ground we are on is holding us. And no matter where your beliefs or understandings lie, I believe that there is great comfort in that. There's comfort in the realization that we, there's, there's greater 
there's greatness outside of ourselves. Um, so when we come to the reality, we don't have complete control over our lives, like right now. <laughs> that um, we can be held, and it can be as simple as coming to our mat, or whatever your faith lands you in. If you'd like to, you can stretch your right arm to the left edge of the mat and or place your right hand on the small of the back and just lead to whatever feels good right now. You can also take a bind, wrapping the right fingertips on the left thigh. And I like to do this sometimes to make sure my hips aren't like weighing on one side or another. Try and relax your neck and your shoulders here. Wherever you're landing, let's take two more breaths in. And placing your right hand all right where your right shoulder was. And let's come back to our tabletop. Okay, coming to your tabletop, we are going to go into a quick down dog. So curling your toes underneath, pushing your heels back as you push your sits bones back, pushing to the top of your, tips of your fingers and rotating those upper arm bones out. If you're familiar with walking your dog, just stepping into one feet or foot or another. Just stretching. I promise we're not going to be here long. Good. Inhale, lengthen your dog and exhale, walk, step or hop to a forward fold, good. And if you are <laughs> not super bendy, this is beautiful, this practice is so good for you. Bend your knees generously, like until, literally until your tummy comes to the top of your thighs, okay? So you may feel like you're like going for a squat, gonna sit in the chair, <laughs> but I want your belly to touch your thighs, so. And then you can lengthen out as fits your body. So, so if you ever learned touching toes, reverse it and let's go touch your belly to your thigh, okay? So let your head dangle free, shake your head yes, shake it no. Take some deep breaths. Just let every care drip away. Kid. Now, really considering your feet right now, maybe wiggle your toes so you can get your weight properly into your feet. Bend your knees generously, even more than you were before. Inhale, sweep your arms up high. Good, reach, reaching up high. And exhale, flowing your hands down. Coming to stand in mountain pose. I'm just gonna turn to face you guys. Just feeling being held here. If it feels good and right, you can close your eyes and just take a few deep breaths, coming back to our mantra if you like, or your own positive reinforcement right now. Facing fear, inhale. Exhale, I will choose to, to love. Inhale, facing fear. Exhale, I will choose to love. Inhale, facing fear. Exhale, I will choose to love. One more breath. Good. Inhale, let's sweep our arms up high. And exhale, sweep your hands behind your back. We're coming to interlace our fingers. Drawing a line down with your thumbs, like through your tailbone. You're going to just open the chest up gently, engaging through your front abdomen to protect your low back. And just drawing your chin up to the sky, opening your heart out. And if it's available to you safely, pushing your hip bones forward. We're going to lean back just a little bit. Try not to crunch in your neck. So you heard all my voices going there. That's crunching for me. So I have a really long neck. It's really easy for me to crunch. Good, and exhale, draw your belly button in, ribs it together, drinks you back to center. Good, slowly release your fingers. 
and shake them out. Let's do our other hand on top. So interlacing your fingers to what? Opposite hand. Inhale, drawing your fingers down. And let's open it one more time. Good. And exhale, keeping your breasts, even though it feels funny, we're going to come to bend our knees and then dropping your belly, putting your hands pointing up towards the sky, opening up through your shoulders here. Good. And exhale, slowly, 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 slowly release your hands down. Come back into your forward fold. Shake your head. Make sure it's relaxed. And then here, let's come into a little ball. So you come to the tips of your toes. Just come into a little ball here. <laughs> your own little world. Good, and slowly come back to your feet, come to your sits bones, and let's curl into a better ball. Um, so this is a super fun yoga pose. Can you believe this is a yoga pose? So put your feet on the ground, a um, couple of, like foot and a half in front of you, wrap your hands on your thighs, and then just drape over. And breathing here. Good. Let's come to extend our legs out long. Flexing your feet, we're coming into staff position. And um, you can draw your sits, your, <laughs> your sits bones out if they're not available easily and make sure your knees are pointing up and toes are bright and lively good and then drawing up through your spine your heart is shining forward but your ribs are knit together draw, let's draw our shoulders up and exhale let them go let's do that again inhale up exhale down good good inhale reach your arms up high and exhale, forward fold. So we're gonna go again, same concept, bend your knees as much as you need to and come into a forward fold. And then lengthen out as, as is fitting. Inhale, let's all lengthen through the front of our spine and exhale, fold forward. Good. Inhale, come back to sitting straight. Let's cross our, bring your right foot in a little bit and we're gonna wrap our left arm over and around and come to a little twist. So um, think up first through the crown of your spine and then exhale, we're gonna twist, placing the right hand right behind you. Make sure it's not leaning back here, right behind you. Um, if you have a block or a pillow or something, you can help place your hand if you need a little leverage. Inhale and then lengthen, draw a little twist further. If it's available to you, can wrap your knee up and around. You can draw your knee closer if that feels good. Good, inhale and exhale. If it's available to you, you can look over your right shoulder. If you need a little more of a deeper stretch, you can place your left elbow on your back of your right knee and twisting out that way, wherever you're at. Let's take another deep breath here. Make sure your left foot isn't lost. Make sure it's still engaged. Good, inhale, we're lengthen and exhale brings us back to center. Let's do that on the other side. Bring your left foot up and in. Let's wrap our arm, right arm up. Inhale, lengthen and exhaling to twist. Again, you can just hold on to your shin. You can wrap your arm around or you can place your right elbow on the out edge of your knee pushing against each other to help you get deeper into a twist. And if it's available, you can look over your left shoulder, make sure your shoulders are drawing down, or your right foot's right engaged. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. Let's come back through center. Good, and let's cross our legs, and let's finish back where we begin, back in simple seated. Good, and let's just let go of what we don't need. 
and release what isn't serving us. And let this movement be a beautiful time for us. So I encourage you now that you've kind of got some wiggles out to go on to a time of meditation. Um, if you've never meditated before, it's just really simple. You just notice your breath, become aware of your body, and try and view your thoughts as clouds passing by and not catching on to a single one and just see what comes. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to close us here, but feel free to stay in meditation as long as you can and that's available to you. And feel free to visit this practice as much as you need. I hope it has been a great gift to you and I hope to see you on your mat soon. So wherever your hands are, let's take one deep breath together. Let's sweep our arms up. Good, and exhale, bring your hands to heart center. And I bow in namaste, which in the tradition of yoga means um, I see the divine in you and you see it in me. So I love that tradition and I'll do that now. So placing your hands up to your third eye, a gentle bow, namaste.